Hey guys I hope you're ready for this week it's gonna be a crazy one but first today I have exclusive leaks on the Apple Watch Series 6 in collaboration with Max Wine back some very exciting features coming to your wrist this summer with Watch OS 7 as well as new hardware and sensors coming to the Watch Series 6 in the fall more news on air power yes it's really happening and being tested right now with an Apple 11 chip and more iPhone 12 and say stuff let's get into it so first off John reminds us that this is the the week that the iPhone say 2020 will be getting released calendar week 16 which Max Windback also did predict would be happening this is the week Apple will be dropping the new iPhone low end budget model the timing couldn't be worse but I am so excited I love Apple release weeks a separate report by GF securities obtained by Mac rumors also details Apple's timing for the iPhone say as well as the iPhone 12 and the launch it's been confirmed that it will be happening in two segments so first off they confirm that the iPhone say is happening this week midway through April they confirm all the specs we've already heard nothing new there what's interesting is that the detail the iPhone 12 release schedule saying that it's behind two weeks on an engineering validation test stage which means that the release will be getting pushed back but only for one device so Jeff from GF securities confirms the Apple will be releasing the 2020 lineup in two parts one if all launch for all models but the 6.6 7 inches so that includes the 5.4 and both models of the 6.1 inches iPhone meaning that the flagship of the high end model which is rumored to potentially come without a notch unlikely will be happening in October and this isn't unusual Apple has delayed the launch of the iPhone 10 and 10 are in a staggered release due to the production delays so that's what's going to be happening this year as well moving on John Prosser is sharing more leaks on air power saying that employees are actually getting this device at home during quarter quarantine labeled C68 it's a sharing and proximity team that's testing this and lo and behold it's air power this is a leaked image of air power with an Apple watch on it and John offers more details as to why this device was delayed what Apple is doing now and yes they are releasing it sometime in the future first off he mentions there's an Apple 11 processor inside to dynamically manage heat it seems like absolute overkill but this here is Apple's solution to their overheating issue so the Apple 11 will be used for dynamic coil management John Prosser elaborates that it'll be able to route power from specific coil regions and it can dynamically wait for temperatures to drop before applying more power to prevent the overheating issue so it doesn't fix the issue with the overlapping coils but it does manage them in a better way which end result fixes the issue absolutely brilliant engineering this could be the reason we'll be seeing air power here fairly soon and now it makes sense why I reported it with Max Wine back that air power would be getting its own software software updates it has an Apple a series chip in it of course it's getting its own software so those widgets we saw not too long ago in the notch leaks for the iPhone 12 John asked his source about those and he says that apparently no current build of iOS 14 that an engineer is using has those widgets inside it doesn't mean Apple won't activate them at the last minute as Apple works in a fragmented way with iOS certain teams work on one feature that others know nothing about but he says it's more than likely this will be used for iOS 15 it's not the first time you hear about a feature that's being worked on only to be released on the next year's release cycle John also reports that third-party widgets are coming to the control center in iOS 14 yet another feature Apple is sourcing from the jailbreak community with complete impunity okay so getting into the Apple Watch Series 6 stuff I want to start with a report from the verifier in collaboration with iUpdate OS they reported on several new features coming to the Apple Watch Series 6 as well as Watch OS 7 the verifier is reporting that Apple is exploring two ways to bring Touch ID to the Apple Watch now this isn't necessarily happening for Series 6 but I wanted to include it in our concept regardless they say that one of the options is bringing Touch ID to the digital crown one is to place it beneath the display and then in screen fingerprint solution so our concept shows a solution where Apple would replace the digital crown with a swipe a sensitive area that would be more suited for touch ID and the verifier points to this being a series 7 feature so series 6 unlikely to get touch ID and we know that Apple is bringing touch ID to the power button on the iPhone say 3 series in 2021 as they're removing the whole button from the screen we still haven't made our concepts on that but it's possible that Apple could use that tech and bring touch ID to the power button on the Apple watch series 7 Apple is also considering 
bringing Touch ID back to the iPhone so it's not out of the question that they're working to develop it on the Apple Watch series is the digital crown here to stay or could Apple possibly replace it with a swipe area for Touch ID like we're predicting we also moved the microphone but again these changes will not be happening until 2021 according to the verifier the verifier also confirms that a blood dog xymetry sensor will be happening on this year's Apple Watch Series 6 this has been corroborated by several reports and it will introduce blood oxygen level monitoring on the Apple Watch a feature I'm very much looking forward to and will help continue cementing the Apple Watch as a very important health tool the verifier also confirms the Apple is working on improvements to Siri and watch OS 7 as well as the system wide UI refresh unclear in which way but Apple is working extensively on the software and the verifier confirms we will not see a major redesign on the Apple Watch Series 6 so any round concepts any crazy things you're seeing not happening it'll look mostly the same they're saying most of the changes will be happening underneath with better battery life better sensors Wi-Fi 6 is very possible as well as improved battery life of course to support sleep tracking earlier Bloomberg did report that sleep tracking is very likely going to be an exclusive for the 2020 Apple Watch and will not be coming to older models because it'll likely of course require more battery a problem I hope Apple will fix on this year's Apple Watch and earlier leaks from Ming Kai Kuo confirmed the Apple Watch will be getting upgraded Wi-Fi faster performance via an S6 chip which is new hardware not recycled like S5 was he also confirms it'll be getting improved cellular speeds via a new antenna and improved water resistance now what that could mean is possibly water sports so high impact water sports snowboarding such where water or lick can get crammed into ports and extreme velocity so that's certainly a possibility when it comes to water resistance resistance and in a separate report getting into the wine back stuff here he's reporting the Apple is bringing the underwater usable screen tech to the Apple Watch as well now Apple is still years away from bringing this tech to an iPhone but the Apple Watch is in its sights regarding this tech and an older report by Economic Daily News confirms that micro LED display technology is coming to the Apple Watch in 2020 now Bloomberg disagrees saying that Apple is not there yet and they'll be releasing it in a future Apple Watch but it is very possible we could see the very advanced micro LED tech in this year's Apple Watch although unlikely okay and getting into those exclusives with Max wine bag so Apple is focusing not only on physical health they have now turned their attention to mental health with the Apple Watch and the health app on future iPhones Apple wants the Apple Watch and the health app to be a complete all-in-one suite for both mental and physical health so they'll be developing features to closely monitor and alert of oncoming panic or anxiety attacks the Apple Watch will be able to detect when the user is under stress or experiencing a panic attack and will be able to provide guidance and breathing instructions to help you get over it not only that but it will introduce monitoring and history of these issues so you can closely track them and help diagnose them in the future the goal essentially is to over time learn which symptoms occur before an anxiety attack occurs and to help warn you of that the notifications will be similar to those high heart rate notifications you currently get on the Apple watch I'm sure this will be a regional issue much like the electrocardio feature Apple will slowly roll it out as they get better at it you'll also be able to manually specify the symptoms in order to increase the accuracy it's a brilliant feature unlikely that it'll make its way into an Apple watch or the health app on the iPhone anytime soon probably up to two years to release this feature Wineback says it's more than likely we'll see this in a future watch OS update unlikely that any device below the Series 4 will be supported and in a separate report by 905 Mac they elaborate on Watch OS 7 and a new kids mode for activity using one device a parent may set up multiple Apple Watches for their kids and of course we already learned about school time and limiting hours and functions of the Apple Watch but now it goes into more detail and introduces health to kids in an easy and digestible way essentially Apple is making exercise easier to understand for kids replacing the move goal with calories to move time which essentially combines exercise and calories into one metric unit so you can set a goal of let's say 90 minutes of exercise on the Apple watch and it will factor in calories and exercise time in a very easy to understand interface for kids what's even more interesting is a patent has been filed that details a cheaper construction for the Apple watch made from plastic and ceramic fibers this essentially could be a kid focused device more durable cheaper to make and with 
watch OS 7 supporting kid mode and all that this could be the perfect device to give to your kids the patent essentially details that this would be a cost saving measure as well as a structural benefit to the Apple Watch and of course watch OS 7 will be previewed beta 1 at WWDC in June and then launched alongside the Series 6 this fall the verifier also confirms that watch OS 7 will not be happening on the Apple Watch Series 2 so now that cut off is Series 3 and above and a fantastic improvement to Maps Apple is bringing COVID-19 testing locations into your Maps natively integrated awesome alright guys that's the latest see you this week is gonna be a crazy one piece and if you new in this channel please subscribe for more update yeah thanks for watching and see you on my next video.